Every week, many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world, so I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within a few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more MMORPG content in the future. Ok, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that was introduction, now let's dive into video. First, let's talk about Lost Ark, because as you will see here regarding western version of the game, currently we have lots of things happening, in the previous week we have got this announcement and actually we have got Ark Pass Season 2. Regarding details of Ark Pass Season 2, you can check all the necessary information here on official website of Lost Ark, I will not go into details right now, but I can show you here, regarding number of players, Lost Ark here in the west is actually doing pretty good. 24 hour peak, 179,000 players, actually this is about 180,000 players overall, it's pretty nice. There are still some bots in the game, however, big majority out of this number are real players. So regarding western version of the game, many things are currently happening, we have lately, actually we have got like new class a few weeks back, machinist, scouter, and we have got announcement that we are getting two new classes very soon, reaper in November, and summoner in December. So regarding Lost Ark, western version of the game, things are happening, it's very high activity over there from publisher of the game Amazon Games and from developers of the game Smilegate RPG, but now let me show you what is happening over there in Korea, because in the previous week we have got this new trailer for a new continent incoming, Pledze, that is the name of the continent incoming in Lost Ark, eastern version of the game on October 26th. In the future you will see some more dedicated videos regarding this new update in Korea. This is trailer which we have get during previous week. This trailer is discovering this beautiful new continent. Check it out. Looking absolutely amazing. You can check this trailer in full version on official YouTube channel of Lost Ark eastern version of the game right however let's move here to show you that actually for now on official website of lost ark over there in korea there are no any kind of details regarding this new update so new update is incoming on october 26 you can see here different kind of notifications updates uh, events but nothing regarding new update if i see any kind of news regarding what is happening over there in korea i will let you know about that instantly here on my youtube channel so far, I didn't see any kind of new information regarding new class female berserker. Are we getting new class with this new update or not? But I assume not, because for now we have get only that trailer. We should see probably within that trailer any kind of some kind of announcement regarding new class. When I see some details regarding new update, you will see information within dedicated video on my YouTube channel. For today, just to let you know, new update is incoming over there in Korea and here regarding western version of the game yes things are happening so lost ark is still one very viable option to play during october if you like to play pc mmorpgs with isometric perspective let's go forward with tower of fantasy tower of fantasy is a new anime mmorpg recently released here in the west on august 11. this is a free to play game which you can play on your pc and mobile devices and as you can see here in front of you, we are getting huge new update, version 2.0 Vera in only 4 days, 24 hours, 22 hours, 55 minutes, so basically on October 20. This is huge new update, you can check some information regarding this new update on official Twitter account of Tower of Fantasy and also I will make sure to make some dedicated videos regarding this new update very soon. So October 20, if you like to play anime kind of MMORPGs, if you still didn't try to play Tower of Fantasy, well now is your opportunity to try to play it for the first time. Without any doubt, we'll get some new SSR characters, as you can see here in front of you. So, developers of the game and publisher are very active regarding western version of the game. Here in the west, Tower of Fantasy is still very popular. All the time, we are getting new events, new SSR characters and new updates. 
Previous big new update was 1.5 Artificial Island. You can check some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel regarding Tower Fantasy. I have to say one really beautiful MMORPG with interesting combat. Uh, combat feels absolutely amazing under the fingers. Regarding gacha system of this game and pay to win, that's another story. However, I would say this is one very interesting option to play during October if you like to play anime kind of MMORPGs. In the future, of course, when I see something interesting is happening with Tower of Fantasy, I will let you know about that. And also regarding new update, Vira 2.0, I will try to play it. Check my live streams on Twitch. I will live stream gameplay of that new update on October 20. Let's go forward with New World. And I have to say, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, lately many things are happening with New World. Is it possible that Amazon Games will manage to revive this MMORPG after, well, after it was nearly dead? Because you can see here, lately, number of players over there on Steam database, it's looking much better. Currently almost 38,000 players, 24 hour peak, that is actually pretty decent. And I have no doubt, during October, number of players will increase. Why? Reason is simple. I can show you here on news part of this website. Let's check it out. Look at this. We are getting great sword, new weapon, and most importantly, beside many events you can see here, we are getting this. New update is incoming on October 18. So I have no doubt number of players will increase during October and Amazon Games is doing a lot to revive this MMORPG. And it's looking, it's succeeding, right? So we'll see what will happen during October. I will let you know about that. However, if you want to return to New World, then this date here, October 18, would be a perfect time to return to the game, right? If you were disappointed with this game in the past, maybe now this version of the game, after Amazon Games have managed to fix lots of bugs and implement a new update, maybe you will like the game this time after you will try to play it. Of course, I will let you know everything what is happening with this new update, what kind of reactions we'll have from players. But just to let you know, for today's video, new update is incoming, Brimestone Sands on October 18 in New World. And also, game is looking much more alive. I really wonder how much will be this 24 hour peak on October 18 and a little bit later, let's say one week within that, right? And what will be reactions of players? Something interesting, right? So, will Amazon Games manage to revive this MMORPG? Let's see in the rest of the year. I assume this is their last try. If they succeed now, they will continue on working on this game. If they fail now, well, this will be probably the end. They can shut down the game. However, let's see what will happen. Let's go forward with Throne and Liberty. Big new MMORPG, new upcoming MMORPG, developed by NCSoft for PlayStation 5, Xbox and PC. And from previous week, actually I have one news for you, because usually lately we are not getting too many information regarding Throne and Liberty from developers of the game, but today I can show you here this in front of you. You can see here G-Star. Big new event is incoming during November. G Star 2022. You can see here date in front of you between November 17 and November 20. So that is actually in about one month from today. And during this event, Throne and Liberty, actually I should say correctly, NC Soft will be present there. I'm preparing specific video for the next week regarding details. However, we might get some new information regarding Throne and Liberty during G Star 2022. NC Soft will be officially present there. There will be one person who will speak on the behalf of NC Soft. I will show you within next week. So G Star 2022, something really exciting. What will happen during November? Will we get some new information regarding Throne and Liberty? Probably yes. I assume that NC Soft have saved some information, actually, maybe some big news to give us during G Star. Other than that, during previous week regarding Throne and Liberty, nothing huge didn't happen. You didn't miss anything. Basically, since last, uh, basically since that previous gameplay footage we have get about 
two weeks ago, we didn't get any kind of new information regarding Throne and Liberty. If I see any kind of news regarding this MMORPG title, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel, because this release here, yes, this is something huge and for sure main focus of my YouTube channel in the future, but in the first half of 2023, not for now. If I see any kind of news, I will let you know about that. For now, all we can do is to wait for G Star 2022. I will let you know about everything what is happening on G Star regarding MMORPGs, of course, and regarding other PC games. If I see anything interesting worthy of your intention, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol is a new upcoming anime MMORPG developed by Bandai Namco, Japanese gaming developer. Recently we are not getting too many information regarding development of this game, but we know for sure that game is still not finished, we don't have any kind of release date, and I can show you here from previous week, we have got this information, there is a webinar registration currently happening uh, from Bandai Namco, you can participate if you want in this event, however regarding Blue Protocol, some kind of concrete information regarding what is happening with this game, I cannot show you anything from previous week, however you can see here Bandai Namco is active as developers of the game all the time something is happening and that is a positive thing for sure right so in the future whenever I see something interesting is happening with blue protocol I will let you know about that from previous week nothing new beside this here in front of you this post regarding webinar registration let's go forward with iron classic european release game which you are waiting for a long time to be released me too of course and i can tell you right away i don't want to waste your time from previous week absolutely nothing new you can see here on official forum of gameforge we didn't get any kind of official information regarding release date yes that is what we are waiting for now release date for iron classic european release because about uh, three weeks ago a little bit less we have get information actually we have get that login screen during a live stream of gameforge that means that we are getting iron classic in europe when that is the only question actually not the only question there are still few other questions like business model of the game right candies there are many questions however first question and most important one when we will get it for now there is no information i can also show you here galeas community manager of iron didn't write anything regarding iron classic in the previous week you can see here some maintenance notifications this is regarding iron live servers if you are interested into Iron Classic, check my live streams every single evening about 7 o'clock Central European time. I'm live streaming a gameplay of Iron Classic from North America. I'm playing different classes. Currently I'm playing mostly Gladiator, Chanter and Templar. However, before release of the game in Europe, I will try to play most of the classes and I will let you know regarding any news regarding Iron Classic European release. If you are interested into this game, check my YouTube channel, you will find lots of videos and in the future of course I will cover everything regarding Iron Classic European release because this is something absolutely amazing. Over there in North America on SEAL server, game feels absolutely amazing under the fingers and I have no doubt we'll have the same situation after release of the game in Europe. I am sure that for Iron Classic European release we'll have high population of players and now the only question is release date. When I see any kind of concrete news I will make video about that instantly here on my YouTube channel so make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch to be updated regarding everything what is happening with Iron Classic European release and not only regarding Iron Classic European release but also regarding many new other upcoming MMORPGs. For today, just to let you know, you're not missing on anything regarding Iron Classic European release. Currently, there is no news regarding release date. All we know that we are going to get it, but when? That remains to be seen. I hope very soon, maybe even during November. Who knows? We'll see. Let's go forward with Blade and Soul. This is one old MMORPG beauty and I can remember back then I had so much fun playing this game. But for today just to let you know that we have get a new class musician and new update Symphony of Destruction released on October 12th. 
you can see here details of this new update i will not check every single detail just to let you know you can see here new class musician new features mounts art gallery and oculus prize wheel new events and new dungeon grim nexus update dungeon rewards skills updated new ring and earring oculus new talisman divine spark many things actually are happening with blade and soul you can see here it's very nice to see the developers are really active during 2022 implementing new classes this is uh, you can see here musician is the 15th class of blade and soul absolutely amazing however number of players is not that high however this is a free to play mmorpg if you have never tried to play blade and soul if you like to play mmorpgs try it out during 2022 as you can see here all the time something is happening with this game new updates you can see here new classes incoming musician actually already was released on october 12th so blade and soul try it out if you have never tried to play it before let's go forward with on december on december is a new action rpg game released over there in korea about eight months ago nine months ago and you can see here released on october 12 just a few days ago in the west this game you can currently play on steam and i can show you here on steam database you can see here on trending games on december wow position number two popular releases also position number two so of course i have tried to play this game even before release and i have played this game after release number of players here you can see 24 hour peak 40,000 players all time peak uh, three days ago for release of the game almost 46,000 players so that's actually not that bad that's actually pretty decent however i can also show you here reviews for this game on store website are actually not that positive you can see here mostly negative reviews 39 percent of 3777 user reviews for this game are positive so wow 61 percent are negative and um, i mean i don't have to go into details you can check some videos on my youtube channel uh, regarding on december i have made a few videos regarding this game regarding gameplay regarding different kind of in-game features most of the players are complaining regarding pay to win actually pay to convenience that would be exact way to say and they are right developers of the game went too far with pay for convenience and actually pay for convenience is actually pay to win on one way you can check dedicated videos on my youtube channel one video also from yesterday where i go into details regarding this game in generally gameplay feels pretty good decent combat a beautiful graphic design a decent user interface i wouldn't say it's something special it reminds a lot on path of exile a little bit on diablo however regarding pay for convenience yes it's not good at all and that will not pass here in the west or there in korea in the east that may go through however western players don't like this at all so that uh, pay for convenience is too huge uh, you need to buy items to expand your inventory you need to activate a skill for your pet to be able to collect items for you and actually disassemble items and stuff like that many other things resurrection scroll it's really insane check dedicated video from yesterday regarding on december to see my full review of this game so i would say generally in one sentence it's not a bad game it has decent combat lots of in-game content however regarding pay for convenience it's way too much absolutely way too much let's see in the future what will happen with on december for now numbers are actually looking pretty good however with this kind of reviews numbers will go down very fast i assume during 2022 let's see right i will let you know if i see anything interesting is happening with on december and just to briefly let you know on the end of this video what is happening with black desert online because in the previous week edition of mmorpg gaming news i already let you know that we are getting a huge new update abyss one the magnus on october 12th however in the previous week we have get delay that uh, update to october 19. so yeah that's it that's the only news check some details actually i might even make some dedicated video regarding this new update because it's really interesting one uh, with uh, that new teleport system into new areas let's uh, say it like that on that way uh, using that new system so this is something interesting happening in bdo during 2022 it's a 
huge update and we have get delay from October 12 to October 19. That was that announcement from previous week from Pearl Abyss. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, many exciting things are currently happening in MMORPG gaming world. We are all waiting for to hear some good news regarding Throne and Liberty, maybe during G-Star 2022, that would be something really huge. I will make dedicated video regarding this topic within next week regarding Throne and Liberty and G-Star, what can we expect to hear maybe. And also, of course, we are waiting for some good news for some kind of release date regarding Iron Classic European release. We are now about, what, uh, three weeks after that live stream. During that live stream, it was written on the middle of the screen that we will get new information within next few weeks. And now about, what, three weeks have passed. So, maybe we'll get some new information. I assume we have to within next week or two. If I see any kind of news, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel and also not only regarding Iron Classic European release as you can see I am following everything what is happening in MMORPG gaming world so if I see something interesting you will find out about that instantly here on my YouTube channel let me know in the comments below video which new upcoming MMORPG are you waiting for to play after release and which MMORPG are you playing nowadays if you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, and news and reviews from World of MMORPG Gaming with main focus on new upcoming PC MMORPGs. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more MMORPG content in the future. See you soon.